everyone, it's your boy Raymir here. January has flown by marking a real kickoff for scooter enthusiasts worldwide. With the crazy amount of groundbreaking releases last year, the banger bar is set high for 2024. Today I'm hyped to share my top picks for electric scooters that are set to be fire this year. But let's hop into the list. We actually got our hands on this at Micromobility USA. Paul gave it a quick test and really enjoyed it. The pre-production didn't include the front suspension, but the production model will have this included. Apollo Scooters is up to their normal act when it comes to innovation. In 2023, they took us in the future with their lineup, the Apollo City, the Apollo Air, and the Apollo Pro model, which wouldn't look out of place in a sci-fi blockbuster like Blade Runner 2049. The Apollo Go is equipped with dual 350 watt motors capable of reaching speeds up to 27 miles per hour providing zippy accelerations and maintaining top speeds efficiently. With a 36 volt, 15 amp hour battery, the scooter can cover up to 30 miles on a single charge and making it suitable for both short commutes and longer explorations. The Go borrows luxury components from the Apollo Pro, such as 360 cob lighting and phone ass display technology. The Go brings high-end features to a more accessible price point. It comes with a nine inch self-healing tires, and dual rear spring suspension for a smooth ride, along with a regenerative braking system paired with a rear drum brake for secure stops. And it also has a great app. Through the Apollo app, you can adjust your routes, adjust your scooter settings, and monitor the scooter's health, including a battery status and a temperature. Last year, Segway, a brand we should all know by now, upgraded their game with the 9Bot G2 Max, a true upgrade enhancing the legacy of the renowned 9Bot Max G30. At CES, the new high-performance ST1 was introduced featuring a sleek design and functional capabilities. It can reach speeds up to 31 miles per hour and it's equipped with a touchscreen display and adjustable headlights, making it suitable for both short and medium distance commute and leisure use. While not as fast as the GT1, its portability is a significant advantage, especially for those who found the GT1 difficult to transport. Having a scooter with the same new tech but you can throw it in the trunk of a car is a major win in my book. Then there's the obvious thought that with the release of the ST1, a ST2 shouldn't be too far out from release. Mitchell had the chance to test ride the ST1 at CES, providing insights and performance in his features. For more details on his experience, you should watch his CES recap video right here. World Motors turned heads with nothing but B scooters in 2023, with the Wolf King GTR, E-Move Roadrunner Pro, and the E-Move Roadster which we had the privilege of previewing at Rider Fest, and yes, we got our hands on this beast for an in-depth review. This year, there will be significant updates to two popular scooters. The E-Move Cruiser 7 is set to release this year, updating on the Cruiser line, which is one of the best scooters when it comes to range, and also the Roadrunner SE is coming this year. Who doesn't like sit-down scooters? We hear from the guys at Hover One that they're gonna do something really crazy with the Pro Line. We don't have all the details yet, but after how interesting their dual motor Journey Max was for $5.99, I can't wait to see what they do refreshing their higher level scooter line. The new KQI 300X electric scooter offers up a range up to 37.3 miles per charge. The website says a top speed of 23.7 miles per hour and it looks similar to the KQI3 Max. It claims to feature all-terrain suspension, a 25% hill grade climbing ability, sine wave controller. Also new has the KQI Air X. Mitchell last year flew to Amsterdam to preview the Air X. We have the regular Air full review on our channel now, but the X having a carbon fiber frame is an automatic must-have electric scooter, making it extremely lightweight and portable. Perfect for city commuting, and just like all the new scooters, they look good as well. Last year, Rider Guy welcomed the Roadrunner Scooters brand to our inventory, notably the RS5 line, which quickly impressed with its remarkable speed and great handling. Now, the RX7 looks to improve on Roadrunner's stance in the market. Although still in the Indiegogo phase, promising specs and quality parts, along with its distinctive glow, makes it an interesting scooter. With manufacturer claims of speeds up to 70 miles per hour powered by a 3600 watt dual motor, equipped with a 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery, it offers a range up to 70 miles. It boasts high end components like Magura MT5 e brakes, PMT racing tires, a steering damper for stability, and an IPX5 water resistance rating. Last year, NAMI continued to impress with its elegantly designed NAMI Klima, a scooter that rides as smoothly as it looks. Now the Blast sits in between the NAMI Burn E series and the Klima lines. The NAMI Blast is an electric scooter designed for performance, featuring a robust build and a high quality components for durability and reliability. It is tailored for enthusiasts seeking a blend of power, speed, and comfort in urban and off-roading environments. 
every year since being introduced by CEO Michael Shaw. The NAMI brand is a frequent visitor of Top Scooters of the Year list. The NAMI scooters are actually amazing. Um, it's one of our favorite scooters. Mitchell, he loves, he super loves the NAMI Klima. We've seen at Rider Fest so many riders had the NAMI Bernie series. And the NAMI Blast, like I said earlier, if it sits in between those, it should be a scooter to beat this year. But the Blast has many components that you can expect from NAMI's. Water resistance rating, it has a smart dash, power hydraulic brakes. But this one has an inverted front fork, which gives it a different look. So hopefully we can get it in this year through somebody. Somebody picked this scooter up. Fluid probably is gonna cop it, but whatever. These are some of the scooters I'm personally hyped for. Drop your comments and your thoughts below with your scooters that you're looking out for for 2024, and maybe we'll come back and do this again. I'm your boy Ray Mir, and remember, stay frosty.